What is up YouTube, it's your boy Jerry, and today's video will be on the Phoenix Suns. Now the Phoenix Suns have the best record in the entire NBA, and they're just looking like a championship team, looking like a team that can make a deep playoff run. Now, I just feel like we have to make a video on these guys, and you know, we gonna get, we gonna jump right into it. Now looking at the Suns last year, particularly around the, you know, the NBA restart, you know, when, when they touched down in Orlando, you know, they were in the bubble, the Suns went 8-0. You know, they went 8-0 in the bubble, and they turned a lot of heads. You know, they was looking like a young, a young, up-and-coming, formidable team, man. It looked like they had a great future. And they was just playing some great basketball. You know, it was fun to watch. But unfortunately, it wasn't enough to get them into the play-in tournament. I think they finished like 10th or 11th seed. But, you know, um, fast forward, fast forward to the to the, um, to the the offseason. You know, they go and trade for Chris Paul. You know, they shipped off Kelly Oubre. And some draft pick and some draft picks, and they got CP3. Now, um, you know I've never seen the CP3 experiment go wrong, man. We all know how, you know how he transgressed teams and you know take them to a whole new level. But you know we all knew this was gonna be special. We knew this was gonna be special, man. In the off season, um, as soon as Chris Paul jet, as soon as his jet landed in Phoenix, um, him and him and Devin Booker, they went straight to the gym and started working. Uh, working on their game with each other and you know that's just you know that's just so incredible man when you get your uh, when you get your newly traded player you know basically you know you guys are going to be co-stars and the first thing you guys do when you um you know when when chris paul touched down the first thing you guys did was work out that not only uh i don't think that works wonder just for their chem chemistry but for the entire team man that just sets the tone for the team you know what kind of season you know what kind of season this is going to be you know you know let them know we just here you know to play basketball work on our game and you know so you know and like i said the chris paul experiment has you know never has never went wrong you know in my in my opinion and you look at the and you look at the season he had in this year he's been nothing short of great for the phoenix suns he was an all-star he's averaging like 16 points 16 points a game nine assists and you know he's, he's being pretty efficient um about 49 percent from the field like like 38 39 percent from three and we all know he doesn't he's money from the free throw line and he's very clutch. He's a very clutch player. He gets it done in the clutch. And, you know, he's just a floor general. He you know how to get guys to their spots. Um, you know, he can create for himself, create for others. And, you know, he's just he's just a, he's just a, a great point guard, man. You know, like when, when I say he's the best point guard in the NBA, I mean like floor general. You know, as far as running the offense, you know, getting guys to their spot. You know, nobody does that better than Chris Paul. Unless you want to argue like LeBron James. But I'm talking like actual, you know, like point guards, you know, like... You know what I mean by size. But anyways, um, you know, Chris Paul is having a great season. And so is Devin Booker. I feel like Devin Booker is becoming more, you know, I feel like he's getting more mature um, mature um, every season. Um, this season, he's averaging like 25 a game, four assists. And he's looking like he's getting better on the defensive end, man. He looks like, you know, he's, um, you know, he's looking like he's taking defense more seriously. And, you know, he's money from the free throw line. And he's also clutch, too. We are seeing him make some crazy game winners. He had that one game winner over Paul George. You know, that was, you know, that was crazy. But, you know, Devin Booker is having a great season, too. But other than that, um, the Suns, you know, besides those two, they have some other players that's having some pretty impressive seasons. Um, looking at their supporting cash, look at a guy like Jay Crowder. You know, he's he's proven that he's a, you know, he's a, um, Want to say he's a valuable player on this team, man. He's a three and D player. You know, he's an older player for this rock and room, kind of a, a of a veteran. You know, he done been to some, you know, he done been in some um, some pretty important playoff series. So he bring experience to that team too. So looking at Jay Crowder, he's a rough rider, stick up for his teammates. You know, he's one of them guys that you hate to play against and you love to uh, play with because, you know, he got your back. You know, he ain't scared of nobody. Look at a guy like Michael Bridges. Michael Bridges is averaging 14 points a game this year or 13.7, uh, you know. But, you know, we round up, man. But, you know, 14 a game, looking like he's learning how to score. Um, you know, he's looking like, you know, he's looking like he's understanding how to score more and more um, after every game. So, you know, he's progressing. And then you look at the, a guy like um, Cam Johnson. Cam Johnson is a young guy. Um, you know, he, he's starting to, um, you know, work his way into the, you know, into the league, um, understanding the game more. And, you know, he, these guys got a, a, a lot of potential, man. These young cats on the Suns. And then, you know, I can't forget the big fella, man. Can't forget the Andre Ayton, you know, the walk-in. <laughs> The walking double double that he is, and you know he's he's averaging fourteen and ten, 
and you know he missed a lot of time he missed a lot of time last season i think it was over a suspension but you know i feel like you know he, he's, he missed a lot of in-game experience that you know that could have benefited him so i feel like you know next year he's going to be even better you know what i'm saying so and you know so you know those some you know those some, some some of their key role players there's a bunch you know there's a bunch more man too many to name but um <laughs> Not only has they, not only has the Phoenix Suns have had players having, you know, individual success, you know, these guys are having great team success too, man. They're number one in, I mean, <laughs> not number one, but they're top ten in both offensive and defensive rating, and we all know that's a, um, we all know that's a recipe for, you know, for a championship. And we, you know, we understand the offense. You know, Chris Paul, the floor general. Um, they, you know, they nicknamed that guy the point god, man. So, you know, of course, you know, they're going to be top 10 in offense with Chris Paul and Devin Booker. So, you know, that's a, you know, that's a given. But looking at them on defense, you know, looking at Chris Paul, you know, he's a pest. You know, so many of his peers in the NBA have called him a pest on the defensive end. You know, he is short, you know, he, you know, he's he a short guy, man. He get up on you, man. You try to put the ball on the floor, you know, he, he going to pick your pocket because he is very fast too. But in all seriousness, um, Chris Paul is one of the best on-ball defenders at the point guard position of all time. He's like top three, top five ever to ever do it at that position. And you look at Devin Booker, you know, he has a great frame to play defense, man. He's like 6'6", six, six, very long arms. So, you know, as long as he's trying on defense, he's going to make a lot of plays on the defense. And Dre, um, not Dre, but Jay Crowder. You know, he's great on the on the defensive end too. Tries, you know, tries with maximum effort effort on every possession he's a pest too and you know he, he's he's big he's um you know he's big bulky and you know he, he, he it's one of his goals to lock you down man so and then you look at their center man deandre Aiden, he's like seven feet seven one long arms kind of athletic for his size so it ain't no cakewalk down there in the paint you know he gonna make it you know he gonna make it tough on you so you know you know they got some defenders on their team man and you know they well coached so you know anytime you Top ten, you know, in defense and offense, you know, you gotta, you gonna make a playoff round. Um, you know, my question for you guys is, man, let me know in the comment section. Can the can the can the, can the Phoenix Suns make a championship run? And I answer this question myself too. I think they can, cause just on this whole fact, man, they got Chris Paul. Now looking at Chris Paul, man, I, I'll say like up from his Clipper days, um, up until you know, up until now. I feel like he's never been. I feel like he's he's never been outplayed in the playoffs. You know, like maybe maybe if maybe a couple of maybe a couple of times in in, in L. A. And you know, but you know, a lot of the times it's just been like you know unfortunate things happen, man. Like in the Clippers, you know, he on the Clippers he would get injured. Blake Griffin would be injured, and then you know that one year the whole Donald Sterling mess. You know, so you know it's just, it's just a lot. And then in, in the Rockets that year they had Kevin Durant. And the Warriors on the ropes, you know, up 3-2 against them guys. But Chris Paul just couldn't get healthy for that series. And then looking at what he did in OKC, that's, you know, that's the most impressive. Took the Rockets to the final play of the series, game seven, almost eliminated. James Harden and Russell Westbrook. And you look at the Thunder team now, without without um, Chris Paul, and um, I think they missing Steven Adams, Gallinari, but you know, they, they a lottery team now. So, you know, Chris Paul, I feel like on the Suns with Devin Booker, DeAndre Ayton, Cam Johnson, you know, all these guys, I feel like they gonna make some noise in the playoffs, especially with a, with a, seed, uh, with a seed in that high. You know, they gonna be dangerous because Chris Paul is a genius. Devin Booker is a killer. And it's just going to be tough to beat them guys, man. So it's going to be fun to watch the playoffs this year. I think they can make a run at a championship. It's definitely going to be tough with the Clippers and the Lakers lurking around. So, you know, we, we going you know, to see, man. We're going to see. I can see them making the championship run. And if you enjoyed this video, man, oh, before, I, before, before I end it, you know, the, the, these guys, you know, they, they've been over this last month, they've been beating some formidable teams, you know. They done beat the Bucks. They done beat Philly. They done beat the Clippers. They beat the Jazz without Donovan Mitchell. You know, I know he's, um, you know, the Jazz are still a formidable team without him, but still. And then um, I believe they've beaten them. Uh, I believe they've beaten the, the Jazz while, they, while um, Donovan Mitchell has been playing. So the, the Suns are no fluke, man. They done won some big games this season. They got they got two very clutch players on their team. So we're gonna see what happened, man. But if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. 
comment down and, and uh, comment down below. Let me know if you think the Suns can win the championship. And you know, if you enjoy it, man, subscribe for more weekly content, man. We we upload weekly, once a week, twice a week, three times. You know, <laughs> you will never know, but you know, you gonna get a video, man. So, you know, subscribe to the channel, and that's curtain. Peace.